Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 4.3D in the great state of Texas. and We are using item number 22 of the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. Miss Ponvini gave her students a test with 20 math problems, and then we've got, you know, student 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and they have a certain fraction correct. And so we simply just need to evaluate these comparisons. So 9 tenths is less than 4 fifths. They're all actually less than. But we really can't compare unless we have equal denominators. That's like trying to say, uh, you know, which one tastes better, this type of apple or this type of candy. Those are two totally different things. We're not comparing two apples or two different types of candies. So they each can taste good. So that just makes it confusing. So what we need to do is make it less confusing. We need to have the same denominators. If I get both of these into the same denominator, well then comparison is really, really easy. So there's a few options here. Uh, one, on one hand, we can list out all the common uh, all the factors of 10 and 5, we can look for the first factor that shows up in common. Uh, and sometimes this can be helpful if we don't really see a common factor, but always first look, can one number go into the other? And take a look what happens. If I double 5, I get into 10, which means I don't need to change 10. So that's not always going to be the case, but on some of these things, one of the, the denominators goes into the other, which means you only have to make one change. So watch this. I'm going to take my 4 fifths, and I'm going to change it into tenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it up like this. There's my target denominator. 5 times what gets me to 10? That's going to be 5 times 2. We have to know my, our multiplication facts. And so this fraction needs to be the exact same numerator denominator because 2 halves is basically equal, equal to 1. When you multiply anything by 1, it doesn't change. We're just really making it look different. So 4 fifths is really the same as 8 tenths. Uh, and I just made an equivalent fraction because I multiplied by a fraction that is equal to 1. So instead of 9 tenths is less than 4 fifths, I'm going to replace it with this 8 tenths. It says 9 tenths less than 8 tenths. No. See how obvious it is now? No, of course not. It needs to be greater than. So we're looking for the comparison that is true, so it's definitely not F. Look at G. That same thing. If I double my 10, I can get up into 20. So I'm going to take my 9 tenths, I'm going to multiply it by something to get up to 20. 10 times what makes 20? That's 2. So 9 times 2 makes 18. Once again, it's an equivalent fraction because I multiplied by a fraction equal to 1, 2 halves. So I'm just going to write, rewrite my inequality here. I'm going to say 17 twentieths is less than 18 twentieths. Now, since I've got the same denominator, yeah, that looks good. 17 is less than 18. Okay, so I like that one. Now, this doesn't work because I, I can't get my 4 into 20, right? So this is one where maybe you list out your multiples. 10, 20, ooh, I think I can get into 20. Check this out. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. All right, so I need to change both of them to 20. So it's going to take a little bit more work, but we can do it. So we're going to take 9 tenths times something is going to equal 20. Uh, that's going to be times 2, so 18 twentieths. Then I need to do my 3 fourths. 3 fourths times something is going to equal 20. 4 times 5 makes 20, so I need to multiply the top by 5, so 15. So let me rewrite this. My 9 tenths is now 18 twentieths. This supposed to be less than my 3 fourths, which is 15 twentieths. No, it's greater than. Um, and look at this. Okay, my 2 can get up to into 20, so I can leave my 17 twentieths alone. Watch this. 1 half times something is going to equal 20. 2 times 10, so my numerator needs to be 10. So I'm going to rewrite this. 17 twentieths is less than 10 twentieths. See how obvious it is? Once we get our same denominator, that is incorrect. It's greater than. So my answer here is G.